Sponsored by True Tech Tools. Quality tools, essential support. TrueTechTools.com. In this video, I wanted to do a quick comparison of the Testo 605i air temperature sticks and the Imperial 911M air probes. So the first thing you'll notice is that the 605i is slightly more compact than the 911M. The handle is smaller and the air probe itself is shorter. The other difference that you'll see is that the 605i comes with a rubber collar that slides over the air probe itself. The tips of the devices are very similar. They've got plastic housings that cover up a sensor underneath. And if we go ahead and take the tip off of the 911M, you'll see that the piece underneath is very similar to what is partially visible through the slots of the 605i. The 605i, the tip is not removable, at least without some potential damage to the housing that covers it. But the 911M is designed to be able to take that cover off and replace that sensor if necessary. The 911M has magnets around the base of that sensor where the 605i has no magnets. Simply that rubber collar over the base of the sensor probe sensor. As far as the testos go, they are showing numbers very similar to each other at the moment. The one that I have set up for return is the 070. It's reading 71.5. The one I have set up for the supply is 937, and that one's reading 71.7 relative humidity is relative so it is going to be comparable to the temperature rather than necessarily the same as the other one based on its reading with the 911M we've got 71.4 and 71.6 within a couple percentage points of each other so all in all at this point, the 605i and the 911m are showing themselves to be fairly accurate against each other. 715, 7.16, 7.14, 7.16. Both devices will actually calculate target superheat within the app with the proper information target superheat does require a pressure reading and an outdoor ambient with the testo you have to do some manual input let me go ahead and tie the pressure sensors on to the device with the testo probes, if you wanted to calculate target superheat, you have to configure measurement and you have to input outdoor dry bulb and return air wet bulb. Right now, local weather says that 
outdoor dry bulb is 61 degrees and if we were to take the return air wet bulb we've got 57.6 currently come down here and tap OK and our target superheat would be 17.1 this is obviously only applicable when you've got a fixed orifice metering device the difference in the iConnect is that you would have to profile the system just say that we've got an air conditioning running R410A with a fixed orifice call it 13 to 16 sear with a standard evaporator and if we add an outdoor air we're going off of slightly different information but it calculates both target head pressure target suction pressure as well as target superheat. So the Testo app obviously is a little more shorthand, but then again, you're not getting live readings on that outdoor ambient or the return air wet bulb or relative humidity. The end of that thought process is that anything that allows a technician to do a better job than they would have done before is a good thing. I think the biggest drawback to the Testos is going to be Bluetooth range. You're not going to always be able to maintain a connection between your indoor air and your outdoor pressure sensors because not every house or system you're going to have connect uh, short distance, short enough distance between the indoor portion of the system and the outdoor portion. I would say that on a packaged unit, rooftop unit, the Testo kit would probably do very well. Um, but if you had a split system where the air handler was on the opposite end of the house and the conden from the condenser, your iConnect is going to cover that range very easily, um, many times without a repeater probe. But if a repeater probe was necessary, it comes in your standard kit for iConnect. Testo Smart Probes are good for their application, and they will definitely help technicians do a better job if they're willing to learn the app and go through the steps necessary. I think that particular instance is where I was wanting to have the 905i the temperature only stick because it would allow me to get outdoor ambient as a live reading similar to the other but it still would not be automatically input into the application which is one thing that I think could be improved for the Testo kit is to allow other sensors to be applied as outdoor ambient or something like that anyway thanks for watching like, subscribe, comment, and share. Don't forget you can use coupon code RARVID at truetechtools.com to get $10 off your purchase of $10 or more. And we'll see you on the next video. Peace. Mm -hmm. Yeah.